511.08 set the Kremlin said Ukraine's accession to the EU is a very remote possibility the Kremlin said on Friday that Ukraine's accession to the EU is a very remote possibility and that Brussels initiatives in this regard are only in Kyiv's hands. Five minutes ago 16.04 set closing summary this blog is now closing. Below is a summary of today's stories Hungarian President Viktor Orban vetoed a 50 billion euros EU aid package to Ukraine. Just hours after Kiev congratulated the bloc on the symbolic step of agreeing to open membership talks. The Kremlin said that Ukraine's accession to the EU was a very remote possibility and that Brussels initiatives in this regard were merely an expression of political support for Kiev. Ukraine launched 14 drones into Ukraine overnight. And all of them were shot down. The Ukrainian Air Force wrote on Telegram on Friday morning. In an unexpected move that will give critical momentum Volodymyr Zelensky and deal a blow to Vladimir Putin. The EU has decided launch membership negotiations with Ukraine. The announcement, following eight hours of tense talks in Brussels on Thursday, came despite opposition from Hungary, whose Prime Minister, Viktor Orban, has said for weeks that he would veto the start of accession talks. After hours of talks, Orban left Hall as leaders officially made decision to open accession negotiations. Thus leaving Hall unanimously, the Hungarian Prime Minister said Hungary does not want to be party to this bad decision and that is why Hungary did not participate in the decision today. Zelensky said, this is a victory for Ukraine. Putin tried to increase confidence in war machine by holding his annual year-end press conference for first time since beginning of occupation, saying, there will be peace in Ukraine only when we achieve our goals. Putin also said he was open to repairing relations with Europe and the United States, but added that Russia had done nothing wrong in invading Ukraine. He accused the West of spoiling relations with Russia. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, who was arrested in Russia on espionage charges, lost his bid for release from prison on Thursday and must remain in custody until at least January 30. The Guardian visited Avdivka. After almost a decade on the front line, the city was reduced to rubble with only 1,200 people remaining. But it still has great symbolic value. 15 minutes ago 15.54 set Russia is ready to talk to the United States. But only on its terms. Reported. Citing state news agency RIA. Quoting Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov. Peskov also said that Russian President Vladimir Putin is ready to work with anyone who understands the need to take Russia's concerns into account. 38 minutes ago 15.30 said according to European Council President Charles Michel said at end of a two-day meeting with EU leaders on Friday that a new summit to discuss financial support for Ukraine is planned for the beginning of New Year. He added that 26 member